Hey guys, Penna Daily here, and welcome back to Let's Play AM2R. A2 AM2R, yeah. Sorry, I keep screwing that up. Anyway, today we are going to f continue on and probably finish the game. So that'll be nice. Let's see. So we come through here. In the original game, this is where you'd get an ice beam at the very end. Uh, obviously, you know, the fact that it was destroyed indicates somebody doesn't want you to have the ice beam. And thus, it's important. Hello! Oh, and we have nine Metroids. Ah, <sighs> yep. And the real fun is... Let's see, where do they come from? Ah, you can see them there in the background. Yeah! That's an original Metroid. So, yes, you can see them in the background, which is very useful. Um, in this case, when the... Yeah. Ha! Nope. Oh, dang it. Ha! Gotcha. Oh, I'm gonna have to do it again. Alright. They... Be careful, because they unfreeze pretty fast. Uh, you get locked in each room until... The Metroids are all dead. So, you know, you know how this goes. Careful. Yep, see that guy? He, yep, he's right there. You can kill him with supers, but I prefer to conserve. I don't know why, given that I always go back and save. Uh, yeah. So, jump up. They, as I said, they thaw very quickly, and of course, you know, you have to be careful, uh, especially in here. If a Metroid slides off screen, I mean, they might have fixed it in the 1.1 update. Come on. If a Metroid slides off screen, you know what? Forget it. Um, if you freeze it and it slides off screen, it can despawn. And then you are, you know... Oh, that worked. There we go. Alright, we got three Metroids left, only two of which are larval Metroids. Okay, now, don't bomb there. Oh, dear. Alright. Let's see here. Alright, so come a little closer. Yeah, just jump, and that guy will show up. Hey, nice. Move a little closer, shoot this guy, and ha! Excellent. So now I'm going to go back to... If we continue any further, we'll be fighting the final boss. And I sort of want to fight the final boss with um, full missiles and full... Uh, full everything, and save. Just so, you know, if I die, I don't have to fight all those Metroids again. So, I'm going to go do that, and then I'm going to take what Romithral refers to as a refreshing pause. Um, mostly because I want to make sure this is recording. I'm still paranoid. Unfortunately, there is no save point directly before the boss. You do have to come through all of this, but there's no much of it. And the Metroids, of course, as they they don't ever respawn, so we're good. I'm going to save here. And alright. Now I will be back. I like I said I want to make sure this is recording, so I will see you guys in a minute. Hey guys. Oh, boy. So, yeah, um, I didn't have my microphone down until now, so, uh, 
there wasn't much commentary there, but what there is, I'll put in as subtitles. Oops. Sorry, guys. Some days, man. Alright, well. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> uh, so, we come through here. As I said, they don't respawn. And we've got, of course, those interesting crystals. You still have to bomb through here. And, of course, yeah, like I said, you don't want to bomb at that block because, of course, it would drop you right down where two Metroids would attack you. We've killed all of them, so you come through here. And I'm not sure if this game has the same blockage that the uh, the original does. Ow. Ow. Uh, I don't I need to get good at that. But now we face the Metroid Queen. So you want to basically uh, pump missiles into her, and then she'll send out these things, and they basically just, you know, fill you, they're, they'll give you pickups, missiles. Uh, the more missiles, I mean, the more you, if you keep, especially with super missiles, as long as you keep um, pumping them into her, she won't necessarily be able to um, hit you. Okay, now you see that she's got, she's starting to bleed. That means this first phase is over. She opens that, she f shoots out that fireball. And now, let's see. Watch her, watch her head. She basically, yeah, okay, whatever. Right, I'm out of, so now I'm just gonna pull, you know, Hit her with regular missiles, and you can use... Ow. Okay. Yeah, you... Super missiles are faster. You can hit her with regular missiles, too. Ow. Well, that was just silly. You want to go into a, um... Into the ball form, basically. Just keep shooting at her. Okay. And she'll just do this. It, it's basically, it's a pretty repetitive fight. I'm not very good at dodging. So, whatever. Just shoot these things as fast as you can. Oh, wait. She's gonna do it again. Yeah. You'll see, you'll know she's going to do this by the, by the flames coming in. So, here we go again. And this is more like the original bit, so, you know, just keep... Where, you know, her, her head pivots. There we go. Dang it. Okay, there we go. Just keep trying. Luckily, these things do give, um, you know, they give... <sighs> they give, um, health back, which is good, because otherwise I'd be dead. <sighs> Just keep going. Now... Oh. Dang it. There we go. Okay. More of this. Keep going. Just keep, you know, just keep whacking her. Use super missiles when you can. In my opinion, they work better. Ow. For one thing, they are more likely to stun her if you can get... Okay. As you see, she got hurt further, and now she's gonna do this. Okay, and now you've basically, for the most part, won the battle. Now you can kill her a couple of ways. Okay, now, uh, let's see. Okay, and... Yep, just... Oh, set the power bomb. There we go. Um, this is the most spectacular way. <laughs> I love this. Oh god, that is so gross. But awesome. If you kill, you can kill her with regular bombs, like in the original game. 
you can kill her with a few extra missiles. But if you do that, she just disappears. There's no corpse left. You don't get the goopy bits. But if you remember Metro Other M and use the power bomb, well, I, I don't mind. And then, of course, we have this. Which, in the original, it was completely spherical. In this one, they made it look more like an egg, specifically more like a face hugger egg. Um, because that's, it looks a lot like the drawing of it in the beginning of Metroid, of Super Metroid. So the baby Metroid will eat all the weird rocks that you couldn't have gotten past. So that's pretty nice. In the original game, since you could easily have gotten there by, you know, avoiding all the Metroids and thus gotten there without the Ice Beam, if you didn't have the Ice Beam, the Queen would, and hadn't killed all the other Metroids, the Queen would just, um, come on kid, let's go. The Queen wouldn't be there, she'd be blocked off by this stuff. So, I, I sort of... And then, then the Metroid did eat all this stuff on the way out. This is a pretty faithful recreation. I could wish they jazzed up the music a bit. It's really repetitive to the point of being almost annoying. But, eh. It's pretty. Because you finished. And of course, we don't have an escape sequence. I'm sure that's why they put the tower in this version. That's alright. Alright, so we keep going. Yeah, this is not going to be a very long episode, I'm afraid, because, you know, I couldn't have fit it in at the end of the last one, but it's not going to be a very long episode, because it was, you know, basically just the final things. So, I'll just show this around. As you can see, it is now night on SR388. Very pretty. I mean, the backgrounds they did for this game are just amazing. Uh, if you come up high enough, you can run into what I guess is supposed to be a layer of um, toxic gas or something. And earlier in the game, it's lower, so you can't get over here if you came back to this. Because, as we follow this way... Uh, yeah, come on. Moving on. If we come this way... Hey, look, it's our ship. And if you went to the, if you went further, the in entrance we went in by has caved in. I'm not sure when that happens. So, now we get the credits. And everything else. And the credits are pretty cool. Well, first, of course, we get that. Yep, another Metroid 2 remake. Yeah, producer, Dr. M64, Milton Guasti. He, and he did a lot of this by himself. Uh, all these people came in later, but for a long time he worked on this alone, which is amazing. And then to see what all of them added to it, it's just, it's an amazing game. And I'm really glad it came out. I'm sorry, you know, of course, I, I understand to some extent why Nintendo had to stomp on it. Kind of. And, you know, at least they waited until it was out in the wild. So, you know, it's not like it's ever going away. And then they waited until the first update was out to give him a full-on, you know, quit it. So, you know, I, maybe that was the best they could do. It's really too bad, uh, honestly, I think Nintendo should have hired him. I and, you know, licensed it, or just bought the rights flat out, because this is, this is really, really good. They could have thrown it on the Wii shop, and, I mean, I don't know, maybe there are legal prohibitions that I don't know about. I understand why they did it. I wish they hadn't had to do it. I wish they'd made this game, you know, ever before. But maybe now that it's out, they'll realize how much we want a new crud. Eh, four. Still over four hours. Item collection 97. Too bad. But oh, that that is some awesome, awesome 
art. And then we get this. This is what you get for beating the game in over four hours. Okay, I think I have to hit something. Yes. The last Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. I just love that. Yeah, leads right into Super Metroid. So, that's the end of the game. Now, of course, with, and this is the intro. Based on a game by Nintendo. <laughs> yeah, it's really pretty, isn't it? And it just keeps panning down Metroid 2. Until we see SR388. Very pretty planet. Too bad it gets blown up. And then if you press start, we come back to the screen. Now as you can see, yeah, this is the other one, which I might be able to make it in under four hours. And I, I'll see if I can't beat that and do a bonus episode for you showing that um, bit in the gallery. Yeah, this is, yeah. See, this is the this is the ending sequence we got. Everything else would be the same, but you'd get a different piece of artwork. If okay, great, be done. One, okay, done. There we go. <sighs> yeah. So that that's it. Thank you guys for joining me for AM2R. I had a lot of blast despite the technical difficulties. I'm sorry this is so short. Um, I might throw like I said, I might throw in if I can beat the other one, you know, fast enough, I might throw in, you know, the, the second ending. We'll see. Uh, but I want to thank you guys for joining me, and you guys have a great evening. Uh, my next LP is probably going to be Earthbound, so it might take a little while. i got to do some research, then i got to get the game. I've played it. Uh, it's not a blind run. Um, I've played it several times. And of course, that involves grinding, so the, with everything, the videos may not come out daily the way I've been doing. They might, but they might not. I might have to take a day or so to work on grinding, because I do have other things to do. But, I will see you guys for Earthbound. You all have a great evening, and thank you for joining me. Have a pleasant day. <laughs>